Hey there, it's Robert at The Samplist, and today we're going to be checking out Water Piano by Impact Soundworks. Water Piano is the work of who I consider the mad scientist in music, Matthias Krantz. Water Piano was recorded in six dynamics, with two round robins for the dry samples and submerged samples, along with infinitely sustained and frozen samples, which leads to some unique sound. The mic recordings range from dry close mics to underwater mics with, as Impact Soundworks states, hundreds of pounds of water, or 130 liters. The water piano has 31 unique sounding presets and sells for the low price of $69. It runs on contact as well as the free contact player. In this video, we'll be going through the presets of the water piano, do an overview of the library, and a composition, but we'll hear this very unique library in context. I'm really looking forward to going through this with you, so let's go. So before we start diving into the overview, I do need to state that while the library has been provided to us by Impact Soundworks at no charge, they are in no way influencing my thoughts and opinions on the library, and that the developer has had no input or previous visibility into the video before we put it out. Now that that's out the way, Let's continue. All right, here we are with the water piano. Uh, we're with the initial patch that you just start with. Let's play some notes and go from there. So like I said, this is the initial patch. You'll see that there's a water effect here called slaps, and they have different types of extra wet and wetness. You can adjust the water level. It's pretty cool. Right, let's go to the next patch here. Absolute zero. Pretty cool sounds right there. Next will be the bathhouse. Pretty unique piano sound. Since you get the gentle fill, as you'll see in the water effects, you, you can hear the water kind of pouring in while it seems like the sound is being drowned out. It's pretty cool. Let's skip ahead. Let's go to Canadian Springs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go ahead to Circuit Poured. Holding the key for this one is pretty cool. Get some nice resonant sounds. Next will be Cold Sleep. Pretty cool clean sound there compared to the others so far. Let's go to 
Cry of the Planet. Interesting sound there because you hear the piano, but it has this cool choral sound. Let's see if we go low. But way too low there. Pretty cool. Next will be Drown Tape. What's interesting here is that there's not much water effects happening. In this case, it seems more like it's frozen, which is pretty cool actually for this because I can really hear something like this being used in a lot of cinematic writing. Let's check out Flowing in Reverse. Has a bit of a organ-like sound to it. All right, next we will go to, let's go to Hot Springs, check that out. As you can tell, I'm big on soundscapes, and this, to me, is beautiful. Hot Springs, probably my favorite sound here so far. Let's check out Lo-Fi Girl Piano 1. Check out Lo-Fi Girl 3, well, Piano 3, I should say. Personally, like that one more. Has, a, has that more lo-fi sound with the high frequencies toned down quite a bit. I like that a lot. Let's check out Saloon Piano. Pretty clean. I like it though. Really does have that saloon type of sound. Spicy Water One. Let's hear this one. It's pretty clean. Let's check out the other Spicy Water. As you can see, the higher the number, the higher the level of spice. Really like the sounds of these though. Let's check out Win Him Spill for the last one of this pass. Holding the key there is really rewarding, I have to say. I really like the sounds of that. Let me see if the model or the expression really affect it. I don't think it does, but that's fine because um, I, I really like the sound of it naturally from just playing the keys and having the velocity take control. 
And also the fact that it cuts off once I get off of the keys is pretty cool if I want to really control the release of the sound. But yeah, it's a great library going through it all. I love the sound so far. There's a lot of uniqueness, a lot of different things I could do with one library. That's a piano library, which is hard to say for some piano st style libraries. But yeah, next we'll go over the user interface of this. All right, so here's the user interface for Water Piano. And actually, it was pretty straightforward. Um, we have different types of extra wet or wetness. It's pretty cool. It's just, let's just mess around with the initial patch here and go through some of it. You can extend the freeze. Very nice. You can raise the water level as well. And then we have the water effects here, which is kind of cool. You can adjust how much or how little you want. You can t fully turn it off, or you can have some different effects here. Let's see what the whisk does. Pretty interesting stuff there. All right, let's look at the playback down here. Look at that. Um, we have your envelope here. Not going to lie, I really like that sound. I'm going to have to save it, even though I didn't do much to it. Well, that's interesting with the transpose. You could probably hook it up to a CC right here and use the CC command to change the transposition every time you press the key. Pretty cool stuff there. Let's check what the bend range does though. Probably going to really adjust the range of the pitch. That's cool. I really like that. The fact that I can really, really adjust how much the pitch will bend. All right. Let's see what happens down here. stuff all right down here you could really change how much the velocity adjusts the volume and other different things it's really cool on oh, the, the micro tuning let's let's toy with that a bit here There's a lot of room for kind of creating your own sounds, kind of like sound design here. A lot of room for that just in this front page. And what's crazy is if you see over here, there's an FX button. It's not doing much at the moment. However, if you go down to the console button, 
well, I should say the console tab, takes you over here and you're thinking, what is this? You open that, so many different things you could put in here. The Super Nintendo verb, I used to play with that a lot. Let's see what happens if we put, let's put some chorus. Make sure it's on. It's all difference there. Let's add, add some faces. How they have the, the die right here, really randomized things. I also have the micro tuning still happening here. Me messing around with this and showing you how the user interface works is really uh, leading to me making a really cool sounding string cello -y sound just on a piano. Filled with water. What a time we live in for this. Let's put some lo fi. Let's adjust the sample rate a bit. This is it. It's pretty much it. Um, a lot of really cool things in here. This is such a great instrument. I, I really like the opportunity to, to really go in and adjust the sound, especially the console here. Like this is something that really makes me happy because you don't really see something this simple in a fair chunk of instruments. So something like this that's so simple, straightforward, all you have to do is just click, turn some knobs, and you don't have to dive too deep. It's very user-friendly, opens the door to a lot of different types of sound design. Yeah, can't, can't complain one bit. For the price, it's really good. So next, we're gonna go to the composition section, where you'll get to hear a composition that I wrote using water piano. And while we transition, I'm gonna save this patch because I really like this. So let's dive right in here. The track here is called Drowning. Figured it would be a good title considering the piano is called Water Piano. So let's just dive right in here. So 
the first piano you're hearing is the initial patch. I figure why not use the first patch you load up with normally. I figured having it do this repeated figure is a good way to keep that motor going. And it also has this semblance of where we are, I guess, harmonically. We're all we're just we're all just staying in B pretty much, B minor really. Um not really going away from that. Next one is absolute zero over here. really works well to add some little atmospheric sounds. Over here we have Sunken Treasure. Really nice to have it, adding some movement here and there. Kind of goes counter to what is going on the rest of the track. Over here we have Saloon Piano. Now this doesn't sound pretty, and I don't want it to. Um, to me it has this really good edge to the sound. And I layer it with Colder Sleep. So something I didn't mention before is that some of these patches will, if not most, will be using the console here. So that's something to look into when you're trying out the different patches here and or snapshots and just seeing what's in, going on under the hood here. Um, considering there's so many other things you could try, you could always just swap them out or add different effects here. Anyway, let's keep going. We have the last piano here called Muted Memories. You ask me, that's such a really good sound. A lot of the high frequencies are out or dimmed down pretty good. So it really just fits in with the rest of the elements in this track. Um, I also like to put a good chunk of reverb with this because it, help, because it can get a little harsh sometimes, which is fine, especially if you really want that harsh element. But for this, I figured put some more Put some black hole in it. Um, probably could mess around a little bit with the extra wet. That could also probably help. But yeah, that's it for water piano in terms of how I'm using it in the composition. There's a lot of different sounds in here that make it very flexible and allow me to really toy with the sound and have various uses for it within one track, which I think is really impressive for a piano library. But yeah, really good stuff by Impact Soundworks here. So my final thoughts on Water Piano, it's very versatile considering the all the effects you can put into it, the ways you can change and wrangle the sound and influence it. I really think this is a library that 
really opens the door to more sound design options for a piano within the library itself. I think that putting water in a piano is insane, but at the same time, it's really cool what someone did it and actually recorded it and made a really cool sample library out of it. To be honest, I think for the money, it's well worth it. Um, especially if you're willing to take some time to really toy with the sound and record your own sound. You could really make some high quality stuff that could be used in films, games, trailers, you name it. Like I already saved a patch while doing this video and I can see myself doing more. So yeah, please like this video and subscribe to The Samplist and by all means comment below on how you think water piano could be used or should be used and how you think you would mess with the sounds and what types of influences you might think that this sample library can have in your music. But there's a lot of different things that I could think of at least that I'd be using it for. So yeah, take care everyone.